Hey everyone, Bo here. I make videos and put them on YouTube. And today, nice gloomy rainy day in Texas, so I thought it's time to listen to some Riverside. I know a little bit about this band. I've heard a few of their songs. I have a Pandora station and they play on it time to time. And this has been requested by Twin Ravens and quite a few other people. This is called Volte Face, or Volt Face. I think it's Volte. Wow, so they put the E at the end of it. And it's about nine minutes long. We're going to get into this right now. I'm eager to hear what this is about. I haven't heard this particular tune before, so... Equip yourselves. Help me out and subscribe if you like what I do here. Here we go. So far, a little different from what I've heard from them. A little bit more upbeat.
side perfect for this day <clears throat> first time hearing that song uh, I liked it I liked it a lot uh, as I said before I've listened to this band a few times quite a few actually I have a Stephen Wilson Pandora station because you know obvious reasons and they play on there quite a bit I haven't heard this particular tune I hate doing this I always do this but I just reference back to a band uh, you know, obviously every progressive band isn't going to be a dream theater, right? But this really had, I was really getting the Alex Lifeson and Getty Lee uh, bass and guitar vibes from this from Rush. Uh, the way the drums were implemented, 
uh, just the whole rhythm section had that rush feel. He was playing, I think, maybe a Phrygian mode uh, on his guitar. Really had that Alex Lifeson uh, vibe to it. And he was really good at filling out the band and coloring the rest of the band uh, as Alex Lifeson does. So that's kind of the, the vibe I got from them. One of the big takeaways for me on this is, uh, and I'm kind of blown away by it, is how delicate everybody was at playing their instrument. We talked about this before on like a Devin Townsend video, but if you go back and watch, all these guys are just really delicately playing their instruments. They're not slamming on the strings or uh, anything like that. Uh, I hate to draw comparisons, but as far as stage performance, uh, they pretty much were all just very calm and relaxed in stature and demeanor and I feel like Riverside is one of those few bands that is actually able to get away with this uh, I don't know why I think it's because despite this song having some heavier progressive moments the whole vibe of it was just really calm and relaxing um, if that makes any sense I think it was just them the way they're playing their instruments and a uh, combination of his his amazing vocals I loved his tone and he's just a uh, sings very calmly while other stuff's happening that's a little bit more chaotic, just enough around him. It's a, uh, I use the word dichotomy, perfect dichotomy uh, combination. But yeah, I think that Haken, uh, something like them, you know, another progressive band, they stand there and for some reason you want them to move around and with Riverside it's a different vibe completely. Like I, I feel like it's just more of them in the moment. I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like they can get away with it. I don't know. My brain works a little strange sometimes. Let me know what you thought about this, guys. Uh, we'll have to do some more Riverside in the future. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you agree with what I said or disagree. or Let me know your talking points, and we can have a discussion down below as usual. Definitely appreciate everything that you guys have been suggesting and uh, saying and the discussions that you have down below. A lot of fun. Uh, makes the day, doesn't it? Makes it go by nice. And uh, nice to meet some new friends out there. So, hey, thank you so much for your support. We will see you soon next time. Bye.